made us activities of our limbs. Does anybody have a praise on the inside? I guess not. I said, does anybody have a praise on the inside? Hallelujah. There's anything giving that's, that's unlike you, I ask that you take it out. Um, God, I want to be flesh free, God. I want you to have your way. Um, word my mouth. Give me what to say. Give me how to say it, God. There's nothing that I can tell these people that will help them unless it comes from you. And so, Lord, I stand here. I ask that you possess me, God. I ask that you fill me, God, and speak through me. Um, that your people may be edified through your word. In Jesus' name I pray and I thank you. Hallelujah. Is anybody glad to be here today? Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but I, I just, I, I, I must really be a church boy because I get excited when I walk into the house of God. I might be down in my body. Uh, I might, might be a little tired, but it's just something about when you walk into the, in, in, into the house of God. And, and, you know, the Bible declares that when the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Amen. Those things that make you heavy, begin to, that you begin to feel light when you get in the presence of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I won't be too long. I'm going to give this word. I'm going to take my seat. All right. So, um, in uh, praying and, and, and reading, um, I, I I was asking God. I was well. I really wasn't. I, I'll be honest. I really didn't ask God uh, for a word. Um, but before Pastor told me that he wanted to wanted me to do the inspirational, um, I had. God had already given me a word, but I mean, I didn't think that it, I was going to, you know, be called on to get it. I just, you know, thought it was just something for me. How many of you know that when God gives you a word, it's for you first, and then it's for the people? Amen. Y'all going to talk back to me today? So, um, in, in, in my praying and in my reading, um, God began to show me, and uh, I'm, I'm going to decide to take this route. Um. Uh, everyone can attest to this. Everyone can relate to this. Um, there's a game that everyone used to play. We all used to play it as kids growing up. Everybody, even the even the older saints, everybody used to play this game um, as growing up. And in this game, you um, it, 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 in, in this game, it's like you have your friends and and, and you guys gather around. And, and uh, the way we used to do it, uh, Brother Roman, is we used to take one foot and put it in the middle. Everybody take a foot and put it in. And there was a little, uh, a little, I guess you can call it a riddle that we used to say. And it was bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? And there was, a, there was another one that said any, mini, mighty, mo, kept the tiger by the toe. And if y'all was real true players, you'll say, any holler, let them go. Any, mini, mighty, mo. And then, then the ones that's from the hood used to say, my mama told me to pick the very best one, and you are not it. <laughs> and so, but, but the reason why we would do that part of the game is so that we can simply pick in the game is called who's it. Okay? So, so that you do that to, pick, to figure out and to decide who's it. Okay? And so everybody knows the game. The, the game is called hide and seek. Anybody know about that game? All right. And so in the game of hide, hide and go seek, um, so when, when you decide who, who, who's it, the thing is, you, you, you decide who's it, and then uh, what they do is they uh, begin to, to, they close their eyes, and then they begin to count, okay? And then when they begin to count, the other people that are a part of the game is to scatter around and go hide somewhere, okay? And so, you count, and you count, and you count, and then, and then when you're done counting, then uh, you, th there's a phrase that you say. And I want you all to turn to your neighbor. Matter of fact, I don't want you to turn to your neighbor because we're not talking to 
our name today. But I want you to look towards heaven and say, ready or not, ready or not. here I come. Here I come. Hallelujah. And so, and so as I was as I was going through this, as, as God was showing me this, um, as God was showing me this, this is the this is the the, the uh, uh, metaphor that he, he gave me um, for this. And so in the game of hide and go seek, the first word in it is hide. Okay? And how many of y'all know that there's sometimes when we're in so many situations, we're going through problems, we're going through issues, we're going through, we're going through turmoil, uh, we might be stuck in the mud, and, and it seems like you know, you, 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 we've, we've been brought up in the church. We know God is there for us. We know we can count on him. But sometimes, am I the only one that feels like, it, it, we might feel like, God, where are you? I don't, I don't see you. Are you hiding? Am, am I the only one that feels that way? I, I mean, you've gone through situations where it seems like, it just feels like you're alone. It feels like nobody's there. It feels like you have your eyes closed. Okay? And so, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. But how many of you know that the Bible declares that God will never leave you nor he forsake you? The next part of the of the name of the game, which is hide and go seek, is go. Okay? And a lot of times we can't get the things from God. A lot of times we can't get the things that we're that we're that we're after for the simple fact that we won't go. A lot of us have faith, but don't want to put any action. As a matter of fact, that's not faith. A lot of us have uh, I guess you could say empty faith because faith without works is dead. Yes, and so, in order to get to somewhere, you have to go. Am I right about it? And, and in this game, there I don't know about you guys, but the way I played it, I wanted to get the person who was the best at the game. I wanted a challenge. I wanted to get the person who was the best at the game. Or I wanted to get who tagged me last. Okay? And so, in the game, when you, you, you know who you want to go after, um, um, unless you were just one of the lazy ones and went to the easiest one, but like I said, uh, you know who you wanted to go after, and, and, and as you're going towards this person, you're chasing after this person, okay, um, there's other people that you see, and some, a lot of times in our lives, when we're going after God, there's a lot of other things that we see, and they become distractions to us, they become hindrances to us, they become uh, roadblocks to us. And how many know that we must not worry about the distractions? We can't have our eyes on the things around us, but we have to keep our eyes on God. Amen? Yes, All right. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm almost done here. Um, and then the next word is to seek. Okay, now you might ask, who are we seeking? We're seeking God in this situation. Amen? Um, and so, uh, even the Bible declares, you know, um, one, uh, before I go here, a lot of times we, we, we pray and we ask God for things. And, and we, we have these desires um, that, 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 that we want. And, but the thing is, it's so, it seems like it's so hard for us to consult God first. Am I right about it? It's so hard to consult, consult God for it. It's, it's easy to go to pastor and say, Pastor, um, this is what I'm thinking about doing. What do you think about this? And I'm guilty of it. Okay? I'm guilty of it. And, 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 and I guess you can say in this season, this is what God has been dealing with me with, was just really seeking him and not being what a lot of us are, which is lazy Christians. Okay? A lot of times, we'll go to someone who you know is good and probably going to say to see where God wants you to do, whether then you just go into the source. Okay? And so, the Bible declares in Matthew 6 and 33, I guess you can take this as my text. Um, um, but by, I'm sorry, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things will be added, shall be added unto you. Okay? And so now when you break that down, the first thing it says is but. Okay? That lets you know that that came after something. Okay? Buts come after something. And so what that means is there might be situations in your life. And, and, and you might say, uh, uh, Lord, I want a husband, but seek ye first the kingdom of God. You might say, I want a wife, but seek ye first the kingdom of God. You might say, I need a raise on my job, but seek ye first the kingdom of God. You might say, I want to go here and, and, and take this trip here, but seek ye first the kingdom of God. That might not be what God wants you to do. So, you seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Um, a lot of us leave that out nowadays, righteousness. Um, there's a there's a poet that I like. He's 
uh, spoken word poet. His name is Ezekiel. And um, he had a, a, a phrase that, that kind of held on to me. And it said, a lot of us are right-ish, but we're not righteous. Okay? And so we have to seek his righteousness. And we have to learn to not be right-ish. Straddling the fence. You know, deciding, you know, being, being lukewarm, deciding, okay, I got one foot in, in, I got one in, but I got one foot out. We can't be right-ish, but we have to be righteous. Amen? And, and then it says, all other things shall be added unto you. So there's a there's a, 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 a phrase that pastor uses a lot. It says, seek the promise giver and not the promise. Okay, the reason why you don't seek the promise giver, and you, I mean the reason why you don't seek the promise, and you seek the promise giver, because when you get the promise giver, all the promises come along with them. Y'all must have missed that. Y'all must have missed that. That's 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 like uh, 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 that's like um, having a having a car and, and it gets totaled, and you cry about that car getting totaled, even though you're okay, you come out of it okay, you cry about that tar car getting totaled, but your daddy is the owner of the dealership. Get another car. And so we must first, you know, uh, seek God, and, 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 and as we seek God, um, there's another scripture in the Bible, it's in uh, 2 Chronicles uh, 7 and 14, it says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, um, seek my face, and turn from your wicked ways, then it says, then will I hear from heaven, uh, forgive your sin, and heal their land. Okay, and so in that, what that is telling us that when we begin to seek God, when we do this, because uh, 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 people might be asking the question, okay, you're saying all this, we need to do all this, but why? Okay, you always got to have a why. So the reason why is because when you do this, he said that he will, you know, hear from heaven, he's going to forgive your sin, and he'll heal your land. When your land is healed, that's when you can uh, pray and ask your finances to be restored, and they be restored. When your land is healed, that's when you can pray and ask for that promotion on that job, and you get that promotion. When your land is healed, that's when you can speak your situation and say, be you removed, and you be moved, moved out of that situation. That's when you can speak those things that be not, and so they work. Right? And so, um, a lot of us, uh, we, we, we had these uh, uh, wristbands that we did, and um, it, it, uh, for, I'm gonna speak on my behalf, I'm gonna just be transparent, y'all know I'm real. For me, it, it worked for a little bit, but then uh, when, when, when I was doing what I wanted to do, somehow that, that wristband, it, it, it disappeared. It wasn't on there. It wasn't on there. But then, you know, when, when I wasn't doing it, then it was back on there, Pastor. And the, the wristband said WWJE, and, and I, I know I ain't the only one that did that. Uh, but we need, I, I, I believe we need to get some different wristbands made and, and, and uh, uh, keeping the, the, the WWJB because we always should know what would Jesus do. But I believe we need some different, uh, uh, some, some, some other wristbands and they will say WDGS. Okay? And what that stands for is what did God say? Okay? Because, like I said, a lot of times it's so easy to say, I want to do this. It's a lot of times easy to say, I want to do that. But what we don't never ask ourselves is, what did God say? We might say, I, I, I want to be with this girl. I want to be with that guy. But what did God say? We might say, that I want to go and live in this state. But what did God say? We might say, that I want to go and buy this car. But you might not be able to afford that car. So what you have to learn how to do is ask yourself, what did God say? We might want to go and be a part of this church. But God placed you at this church. 